Whoops. Um. <coughs> Constitution mana. Whoops. Again. Another oops, huh? Pretty good. <coughs> oh, that's the passive we I was uh, thinking about. It inflicts divine and unholy damage to any enemy that critically strikes Aviana. Okay. Understood. <clears throat> I might as well go and take control of these um, generators. Because <clears throat> I don't think I'll be coming back here. It's important this guy doesn't die. He's needed for a quest. So, um... I guess... For that reason, I'm gonna move Aviana um, here. Because, well, if she dies, then absolutely nothing happens. <clears throat> She's back... In the team. Only with low, um, low HP, so... Maybe I should have waited there. Probably should have waited, but it's okay. It really is okay. Now this guy's gonna hurt me. Um. <clears throat> now you have to be very careful you cannot die so maybe you you can wait is he mobilized maybe you can wait too you have you can wait See if he's got like enough firepower. Kill Aviana. This guy can't move. Push them back. Help. Damn. Banshee. Um, I don't know. I should have moved here, but I think he's got some AOE that's gonna hurt me, but <clears throat> don't think it matters, so yeah, should have moved here. Dark father. See if I can hurt this guy. Me. There we go. That's the AoE. So, wouldn't have mattered, I guess. For the rage of our mothers! They always heal. <clears throat> when the healing um, spell is available, they always use it. Which again, probably shouldn't be the case, but... Okay, why don't you go here? Burn their 
blood. Do this. Blood be thick. <laughs> Fire. Oh. Wrath. Hilariana. Yeah. Uh, oh, she can't. God damn it. She's silenced. Oh, that's a mistake then. Quite a big one as well. Oh, that sucks. Stand down. Oh. I have so many arrows left. My arrows hunger. I want to heal because I want to start lowering it. I've got the regeneration thingy. As far as here, I think this is I'm fine. Nothing. I go. Hmm. Help. Chains. <laughs> Okay, so far so good. Your flesh is too soft. That's less good. Our mothers are always with us. Okay, Aviana's no longer, <clears throat> she's no longer silenced, which is good. Not enough range. But of course. Hmm. 
God damn it. Oh, Father, be with me. Not sure if I've got enough damage here. Oh, we're about to find out. Yeah, okay, that was enough. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to use fireball then. Maybe I should have waited. Yeah, I should have waited. Should have waited. Burned blood. Fire. Okay, these guys are done. Uh, there's one more. A lumber mirror mill uh, over there. Let's take it. Quickly, before they can react. Death is inevitable. Dwight. Advancing. 
quiet as a leopard. Be gone from these last. I am one with all. You shall leave these lands no more. Hmm, I thought. <clears throat> Why wouldn't you finish off the banshee, huh? Pretty stupid, if you ask me. Should be enough damage. from these lands. Okay, well, GGS. Stand down. blood of nothing I go rage Jenny Don't think I've got range. No. no. Sucks.
Okay, cool, that's done. <clears throat> now we've got all the buildings in this area. Let's go back to the elves. by the absent god the jailer's dead calm down tell us what happened the vampire pelma the one leading the undead digging in the tunnels she escaped and has gone on a rampage she slaughtered dozens of my scouts if you kept her starving in a cage she's entitled to a few throats she's amassed the undead and they've swarmed up to godhead they're going to tap into the mana of wotan himself so that's probably bad Bloodlust tapped directly into the veins of a god. Yeah, probably bad, Ori. Please. They will use that power to kill every living being if they're not stopped. More mana for the second Woken means less for us. We will go to Godhead and protect the elves. Uh, I... Oh, this is where the the um, encounter is gonna happen. I've been here before. Well, this is gruesome. Oh, it's strange though. I feel like the air itself is charged with power. It is. You have come to me. Wotan? Uh, yes, Avi. The big dead god is still Wotan. You too have power, Gloaming Child. You too need power. Look around you. Lust and madness. Malice and want. And you between all. I can hear you, but you're supposed to be dead. Uh, Abby, things are about to get messy in here. We've got both elves and undead incoming. Is your power to shape the light and darkness around you? Or to pull both within yourself? What do we do, Abby? The undead and elves vie for the power my remains would grant them. And you stand between and above them. You've seen the faults of both. Addiction, bloodlust, cruelty. Perhaps their faults are your own. Uh, uh. I haven't seen any... Have I seen any goodness in any of them? <clears throat> I don't think so. This is a cruel world, Wotan. They're not perfect, but they're the allies I need. Such is your judgment of them? You are then fit to stand in judgment? Will you trust them with this power? Would you trust yourself with it? Perhaps no one should have it. Not no one, me. I deserve that power. I am the one who will be able to liberate Nevendar from its oppressors. Ah, but is that an answer? Power calls, and rare indeed is one who will not answer that call. You must decide what to do with it. So you'd give this power to me? Even gods do not give power, gloaming child. In this world, at this moment, I simply cannot stop it from being taken any longer. What do we do, Abby? What indeed? None of you are worthy of this power, and none of you can bear this burden. 
kill them! Kill them all! Oh, I don't trust the elves with the power. And I don't trust the undead with the power. Problem is, I'm gonna lose my standing, my reputation again, with both of them. But let's just see how it's gonna work. Um, because I don't know how I can have enough reputation. Um, with any faction. If things keep going the way they're going. Hey, why don't you move here as a distraction, huh? Death is never Rush them. My arrows hunger. By the seasons of my body. Crap. And I've moved here, I guess. Oh, what's that thing? Black dragon. Oh, it's here. Interesting. My people will kill me. Ire. Huh. I cannot die. Of nothing. I go. Your flesh is too soft. Wrath. Chains. Crap.
healing <clears throat> is something he should be okay now Should have moved, but because the difficulty is um, low, I can't be bothered. Hey, that's a, another misplay here in terms of positioning. Well, it looks like a Viana's gone. That's good. May your blood be thick. In case. What happens if I go here? Now do this. Perfect. My arrows hunger. Oh. Can't do that. Why I can't do it? Why can't I do it? Oh. That's fine. But of course.
Robbie, what are you doing? Abby. No, me. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. What's this place? Abby, someone else is here. Stay right there, me. Who are you? What do you want? You came to me, gloaming child. You and the other scavengers who picked at my corpse for whatever power you could glean. Wotan? Yes. Or something very near to Wotan. I impossible. The dead god. Explain this illusion. I was once the patron god of the dwarves. Perhaps this diminutive form is how your mind is capable of interpreting me. Now then. Wait, did a god just insult me for being short? I don't understand. We were at your grave. The god vein ruptured. This isn't the four heavens. You are the gloaming child, Aviana. The twilight between light and dark. This is a place of neither. Then where is this? Do you not suspect? This is Erdva. The corporeal anchoring of the ethereal. Erdva, the madness between worlds. The elves say it is where the shades of the gods rest. The necromancers call it the plane of slights. Realm of neither living nor dead. We saw your body. It was decaying. You're dead. I did wage war against the elven god Galleon and won. I tore his heart out and hurled it into the sun. I did fall to Salonial's rage. Mortis, the goddess that rose from that rage, did kill me. And all the dwarves of Nevendar out of revenge. But Nevendar is not the only plane. And Wotan is not the only Wotan. All right, so some kind of god realm or whatever, or, and hear me out. We're all dying of mana poisoning and having a deathbed vision. We wouldn't be having the same vision. Maybe I'm having the vision and I just imagined you said that. Oh, wait, maybe my whole life was a vision. Maybe you were never real. Maybe I'm not real. I'm spiraling. Abby, make this better. Talk to the god man with my face and fix this. Ardva is difficult for the mortal mind. This is the plane of slights where the corporeal forms of gods exist. I still don't understand how you can exist at all. Unless Mortis raises you, once you're dead, you're dead. Wotan is dead in Nevendar. Wotan is alive in Erdva. You are light and you are darkness, but you are still you. I am a dream, a memory, a premonition, but I am Wotan. Tell me more about this Plane of Slights. I don't even know what that means, frankly. Erdva, the Plane of Slights. A place where shadows of gods rest. Oh, the tatters of my memory of such a place. Corruption has seeped into this memory. The pollution of the rot and royal of Nevendar. Your memory of Erdva? You mean we're inside your memory? We're in your mind? No. And yes, you are beginning to know me. To know the Divine. There is no other way to explain it to a mortal mind. This is real. But it is also a memory. A memory that rots. But if this is a memory, does that mean I've already been here? Are you remembering me? Child, you've always been here, and you will never be here. All right, can I just stop pretending that I understand and go straight to hating this? You said, know me. You're Wotan, I know that. What else am I supposed to know? We must know the corruption and creation that trails in our wake. In your world, 
I hammered the mountains and the valleys. I watched over the dwarves for a time. They led me to disagree with the gods Galleon and Salonium. I ripped the heart from Galleon's chest and threw it into the sun. <laughs> well earned. Salonial struck me down. Then to save her love's heart, she threw herself into the sun. She returned as the burned horror, Mortis. You should be thanked for giving us such a magnificent goddess. I murder and am murdered. I create and am recreated. The connections between gods, between mortals, between worlds. They corrupt, they grow. You are a nexus of connections, Gloaming Child. The potential corruption that follows in your wake. Know the gods and learn. Enough of this madness. I'm leading us out of here. The corruption seeping in from the rot of Nevendar eats at your return, even as it eats at my mind. Cleanse Erdva, and you may yet find a way. Good. So there is a way home from this place. A way to exist, Gloaming Child. Here, you are the half-born memory of a dream. But that is at least something. The price of failure in this universe is nothing. Cool. <clears throat> cool story, but... Only corruption. Okay, I can't go through that. Okay, so you're not actually the jailer we met. What fever dream god are you then? I am ours, the Lord of Chains. Of course you are. I am the binder and the keeper. You are not supposed to be here. You are supposed to be chained in place. Speak of chains. Earn death. Yes, yes, we all think you're very brave. Please don't get us in a fight with gods. Binder and keeper? Sounds like glorified servitude. Oh, it is. Gloriously so. In all the pantheons of all the gods, no one's ever written about you or spoken about you. No legends, no songs. You are of the tenth epoch of Nevendar, but there are many more eras and ages, rises and falls, than what those epochs would reveal to you. I am proof of that. If you're the god of chains, are you the reason the gods are trapped here? Trapped? The Erdva, the plane of slights, is but one of an infinite number of realms in which we exist. The gods are not trapped. So you're the god of those held captive? Not just the jailer, but the jailed. Not just the chain, but those in chains. I am the whip that cracks, and I am the skin beneath. The same could be said of you, Nephilim. We're leaving the Plain of Slights. We all forged the bars of our own cages. Me, you, your little friends. We're leaving the Plain of Slights. Okay. Cowan of the White Lands, what are you doing here? I have become many things, but I was Galleon. Galleon, the god of the elves. Galleon, god of the elves, of the trees, of many things, and then nothing. Wotan ripped my heart out, but gods don't die, right? I've noticed. We're finding a way back to Nevendar, Galleon. Come with us. Your people need you. She brought me back. But she was... and I was... I came back as Galleon the Twisted. Galleon the Divided. Galleon the Shifting. I cannot go back again. 
My lord, please. We need you whole and returned. We need you to make us whole again. Shift all you want, but return. Wipe the world clear of our enemies, and you will be renewed. No. 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 I must not be bent to others, not again. Not a creature of your world, just a creature. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's not gone. Said, yeah. I feel her clawing me back to the realm of flesh. I feel her flowing from me. No one else is here, Galleon. I just have some questions. I've only heard legends of how you created life on Nevendar. What actually happened? We were lovers. All of us. Bethrazen, Salonio, Wotan, and me. Bethrazen formed Nevendar, and it was the first schism. It tore us apart. Salonio and I clung together. Her tears were the rivers, my seed were the trees. Your world was the greatest creation in the universe, and it was doomed from the start. The scribes write the tale, your heart was torn out by Wotan and hurled into the sun. But why? My people say it was Wotan's jealousy, but it was not. It was fate. The schism was coming. Wotan's many divisions to many planes was coming. Solonial's death and rebirth was coming. The fate hand clasped us. We are gods, but against our fate, we are nothing. We need to find a way out of this place. You are already in Nevendar, just as you were already here. It's just his camouflage. I couldn't tell if he's still there or not. Who are you? Re I am the High Father. The angels are my children. The Empire are my children. You are all my children. But, uh, Father, you don't speak to mortals. You don't speak to anyone. Orion, hold your tongue. But you, you are unique amongst my children, aren't you? Unique is a good way to say it. I am the Nephilim, Aviana. I am the child of Horus, and your child, Inuel. You are all my children, Aviana. But my light throws shadow, and some of my children have slipped into that shadow. The people of Nevendar pray. For epochs they pray. Why don't you answer those prayers? Your world, child. I never wanted it. Nevendar was a mistake. An impetuous flourish from one of my wayward. It is true, I have often turned from your world. People love you. They dedicate their minds, they mar their bodies, they throw their life into praising you. Child, if I did not ask for them, do you think I asked for their adulation? I will not celebrate your victories just as I do not relish your defeats. Love is not indulgence. My mother was the angel Inuel. She was sent to Nevendar to destroy it, on your orders. At my displeasure, universes dissolve into entropy. At my whim, stars explode into being. The greatest gift I can give Nevendar is my indifference. Consider it a blessing. You act indifferent, but you're here, and you're speaking to me. There must be a reason. Because you are something new. Something I will need to turn my attention to, for better or for worse. What does that mean? Something I'll do? Something I won't do? What do you mean? You have time yet before I turn my eyes to you. Be strong, child. That's two. Feels like we're getting close. Mortis, goddess of undeath. My queen! My everything! Soon. 
Right, well, he wasn't the most talkative person we've met here. Who are you? Your name. Who Wyjin, goddess of horrors that sleep beneath the waves. Maybe. I've heard of no such god. I thought Salonial was goddess to the Mer people. I am Ku Wyjin, goddess of winds and wastes. Maybe. You seem uncertain. I am Ku Wyjin, goddess of whores and bastards. Maybe. Ku Jin. My name is Aviana. I am Ku Jin, goddess of lies and truths. Maybe. If you're playing some kind of game, Ku Jin, I'm in no mood. I am Ku Jin, goddess of murder and love. Maybe. State your true name and do it now. I am Ku Jin, goddess of dream and horror. Maybe. Here are many titles. I understand the burden. Lately, they've been calling me Liberator. And Drunkard. Well, that one's at least deserved. Maybe even a bit of an understatement. I am Ku Wyjin, goddess of gibbets and nooses. Maybe. Right. I'm Aviana. And you? I am Ku Wyjin, goddess of lust. And slaking, maybe. I am leaving. I am Ku Wyjin, goddess of beggars and fools, maybe. Interesting. We're doing it. There's a way out ahead. Alright, is there anything that we missed here? Any items or anything? This is no place for mortal flesh, Aviana. We can talk in circles all Don't think doesn't look like Wotan, I have questions. Tell me more about this Plane of Slights. I don't even know what that means, frankly. Ardva, the Plane of Slights. A place where shadows of God's corruption has seeped into this memory. I'm going to find... It is my hope you... Alright. I don't think there's anything worth... ...of our attention here anymore. Knives, check. Body, check. Uh, boyish good looks. You're fine, you're fine. Maybe an inch taller, actually. <gasps> uh, <laughs> har, har, har. So what do you think that place was? Erdva? The Plain of Slights? Part of me hopes we never know and never have to go back. What matters is we're free and safe. No argument there. I know we say this a lot these days, but this hasn't exactly gone to plan. No, but the elves and undead both just heard the message. Ilion is here and has as much a right to Wotan's grave as anyone. That's right. And if Erdva was the afterlife, I'd say the gods heard it too. 